Michigan's Senate Majority Leader has already had a week, and it's just Wednesday. Yesterday, a leaked video showed a conversation Republican Mike Shirky had with three members of the Jackson County Republican Party. The discussion became heated at times. At one point, Shirky was caught on camera saying it was not Trump supporters who stormed the U.S. Capitol in a deadly attack on January 6th. Not at all. Thanks for the hoax from the day one. That's simply a lie. It was Trump supporters. They came directly from his rally. They're on video saying that they were there on his behalf. Leader Shirky didn't do any interviews to address what he said. Instead, his office released a written statement that said, I said some things in a videoed conversation that are not fitting for the role I'm privileged to serve. I own that. I have many flaws. Being passionate coupled with an occasional lapse of restraint of tongue are at least two of them. I regret the words I chose and apologize for my insensitive comments. Today in the Senate chamber, Shirky was caught on a hot mic saying to Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist, he does not regret his statements. I, I frankly don't take back any of the points I've tried to make. Some of the words I chose, I didn't. Um, and the, uh, and the topic of the hoax, that event was a hoax. It was very real. But the assignment of cause, that was planned months, weeks and months in advance by somebody that was, you know, Unfortunately, it's getting blamed for it. And we're going to find out the FBI is going to identify here within the next couple of weeks who's exactly behind it. Some of Trump's people got caught up in the knot and you know, did things that shouldn't have done. But the assignment of causes is really what I was talking about. I didn't come to the in a statement this afternoon, Lieutenant Governor Gilchrist called Turkey's apology an empty gesture motivated by politics. I spoke to Gilchrist a short time ago. Well, I think that the Michigan Republican Party and the people who support uh, Senator Shirky, they have some soul searching to do. There should be accountability for, for these kinds of actions, these kind of rhetoric that literally stand in the way of the progress that we need as a state. We have a pandemic to respond to and an economy to jumpstart and recover. And this kind of rhetoric, this kind of attitude does not contribute to that recovery or that kind of progress. House Speaker Jason Wentworth did send us a statement about Senator Shirky's comments in the Capitol riots. He described the attack as a tragic moment in our history, un-American, and a blot on our democracy and our nation. He went on to say Majority Leader Shirky's comments are his own and don't reflect his feelings or beliefs. We also asked for a comment from Leader Shirky's office today. They directed us to last night's comment.